Hello, my name is Brian Kiever. I'm an instructional designer with Shoreline's eLearning Department, and I'll be your presenter today. Right, today we're going to be looking at the calendar inside of Canvas. So we're going to get started by clicking over here on the left on the link marked calendar. All right, so here we see our calendar view. Uh, we have basically the large view of the calendar here. We have a selection set up here. We can look at the calendar by week, by month, uh, in the agenda view, or there's a scheduler mode, which we'll look at in a moment. We also have the mini calendar over here on the right. And we also have a list of calendars available here on the right as well. Uh, you can see basically all the classes that you're enrolled in will be listed over here on the right. Right now I have just this single class with the events showing on the calendar. But up here at the top of the list, I also have a personal calendar. So I can add events to a personal calendar that are only viewable by me uh, and keep track of everything all in one interface here. To add an event to your calendar, simply click on the day and you can enter a title and a time. and a location if necessary. And simply submit, and that item is added to your personal calendar. Additionally, we will see down here that we can set up a calendar feed. That means that I can use this to click on it. I can take this link here and copy this into my Google Calendar, Outlook, iCal, whatever other calendar application I might use and feed the data from these calendars into uh, my other calendar application. Now I'm going to go back up here and look. Now we can filter the information that's showing here on the calendar by coming down the list and clicking on the squares just to the left of the class that we're interested in or that we're interested in hiding. So when it's open and gray there, I don't see the events on the calendar. When I click on the box again, and there's color showing there. Now I'm looking at the events uh, for that class, and notice that the color codes correlate with the color swatch next to the class. All right, so this is my monthly view. Uh, other views available are the week view. So I can look at week by uh, day by day during the week, and I can even see times on the events, so very similar to other calendar applications. I also have an agenda view. So here we have the agenda view, and that's just going to give me a rundown uh, for this time frame right here, showing March 7th to March 17th. Uh, and it's going to show me all the things that are due within that time period. Scheduler view is another view that may or may not be used in your class. What Scheduler does is allow uh, an instructor to set up times uh, for things like office hours, group presentation time slots, uh, anything that they want the students to be able to sign up for. And they can format it in such a way that the students can come into the scheduler view and pick the time that they want and sign up for it. All right, that was an overview of the calendar in Canvas. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the eLearning office for more information. Thank you. And that concludes today's presentation. If you have questions on today's topic or any other eLearning questions, please feel free to contact us at 206-546-6966 or email us at elearning at shoreline.edu. Thanks for watching.